Well, welcome to uh, Ray's Barn Part 2. Ray's Barn Part 2. Uh, when I left you last, I was talking about this. Why don't I have a sill plate right there? Well, I, this foundation, you have to understand that this, what happens is, I, I, I can, I, the wall gets a sill plate unless I specify not to, and the foundation gets a sill plate unless I specify not to. So, I already specified the wall is not having a sill plate, but you know what, what happens is if you put this barn in one plan and you also have a house in the plan, what happens? All the walls don't have sill plates. So I know you can go in there and supposedly um, uh, edit one wall at a time, but that's a bunch of crap. I, I, I want to do, I want, I, I love the automatic framing. That is one of the, how, that's so powerful with sheep. So here's the question. Why don't I have a sill plate for this foundation right here? And I'll tell you why. Because I don't really have a floor. So even, even though this is an open to blow, you understand this is the, this floor is open to blow. I still need to give it a structure, a floor structure. And I'm going to insert something and I'm going to make it zero. Watch this. Once I make this zero, the floor structure, zero. Now I'm, 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 I'm going to make it 12 inches, okay? Watch this. You see, it just it just dropped this down here. This is the magic line right here. You see this red line, UU, uh, red line, uh, line style red. Let's make it red just so you know what I'm talking about. Red, red right there. Okay, and the uh, line weight is uh, 200. I don't care. I'm done. Turn on the line weights. There. That is uh, that is that is a zero level. Okay, but really, what I want is <clears throat> I don't want the floor. I'm talking about the floor structure right here, UU. I have to have a floor structure. If I don't have a floor structure, I won't get a sill plate for the foundation. So I have to have a floor structure, but I want the floor structure to be zero thickness. Now I turn off the line weights and you'll see what happens. So now there you go. That's typically what, uh, a lot of times that's the way it's built. You gotta, you gotta uh, well, that's sort of interesting. So here, here's the deal. Here's your, here's your choices. Do you want a sill plate on top of the foundation stem wall, or do you want a, or do you want a, or do you want a sill plate for the wall, or do you want a sill plate for the wall? In fact, let's. Go, I just gave the sill plate to the foundation. Okay, you understand? You understand this? You look at this big heavy red line. That's the zero level. Okay, that's zero level of the floor. So now, and I'm using the sill plate of the foundation. This is a barn. Okay, this is. No one builds anyway. So really, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. I'm going to go one. I'm going to change the framing, uh, framing found uh, framing framing wall, wall framing, wall framing, and I want to get a bottom. Uh, I want to get a bottom uh, plate, and I want it to be uh, three point five inches thick, just because so you can see what's going on. Watch this. Watch what happens. Okay. And now I, again, the whole problem with this is there it is three and a half inches. Okay. But now I don't want. Now I really don't want. Well, there, there's there's the problem with that right there. Uh, now I now I don't want the uh, stem wall to have a foundation. Okay, so uh, uh, so how do I do that? You you there's two ways of two ways of doing it. One 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 is to go into the foundation and to change your uh, uh, sill plate thickness to zero or to z or to uh, count to zero. Watch this. Doop. Done. Now I don't have a. But the problem with this is watch. Ooh, I didn't do it. I don't think I did it. Uh, foundation. Foundation. Sill plate. Seven and a half inches wide. Suppose I make it 5.5 .5 inches wide. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, it changed it. It changed it right there. You saw it. It just changed it right there. 5.5. .5. So if, if, I, if I come over to here, 1-1 one, one, and go to foundation. I, hey, Ray, uh, I hope I sort of answered your question. You can't just rename the walls yet. I, I get that. Uh, but but suppose the sill plate for the foundation. This is not the sill plate of the wall. It's the sill plate for the foundation. They're two separate two separate entities. Uh, Seven point five inches wide, and I want it to be. Uh, I want the height to be uh, uh, three point five. Why can't I do that? Oh, there it is. Yeah. See, now I'm now I just proved to you that I'm controlling the found the, uh, the 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 sill plate of the foundation. Okay. That was the whole point of this. So now what I what I what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give you a uh, uh, one one. I'm trying to give you a foundation, 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 foundation. I don't want any sill plates. But what the problem with this is it's 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 plan wide, and I don't want it plan wide.
at 12. <laughs> did, I, did, I, did I do it wrong again, you think, huh? 1-1, one, one, uh, foundation. I changed this. Uh, so, oh, I don't want 0. Oh, I can't do 0? Oh, they're going to make me have a I, I have to have a foundation still play right there. So if I want to cheat a little bit, I'll make it zero. Zero. You you have to have one, but it's going to be zero thickness. And now what I'm going to show you is uh, done. There you go. And now auto detail it. So now what I just showed you is there's two. You can get a sill plate, either a sill plate for the wall or a sill plate for the uh, stem wall. Still play for the wall, stem, stem wall, wait, stem wall, uh, still play for the stem wall. Your choice. Pick out whatever you want. Uh, I think I'd probably be inclined to do it for the uh, stem wall itself because that way I can control the thickness. But I can't control it by on a wall by wall thickness. So just on a wall by wall basis, so it all messes things up. Oh shit! All right, now, I now, and so uh, I, I think I sort of showed you that kind of stuff. Uh, a, a couple other things here is. By the way, I, I, I framed this roof. Watch this roof. You, you. How do I do the roof? Roof is, uh, look at the rafters, three, three and a half inches wide. Perfect. I'm, I'm doing four bys. I'm doing four by what? Uh, structure. Structure. I'm doing four by tens. Look at that. It's four by tens. Okay, fine. So I'm doing four by tens. What's my spacing? Here's my spacing right here. I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to make it uh, 60 inches on center. Okay. I'm going to change it to 60 inches on center. And you're going to watch this. It's going to change to 60 inches on center right there. Well, oh, I, I, what? I, I'll, I'll tip, uh, cancel. I, I only change it on one roof. Seven seven. Uh, I only change it on one roof. And so, if you look closely, if you look closely, you'll see that one roof has the rafters. Look, one roof has rafters at forty eight. The one I just changed it to has uh, has them at sixty. Now, here's the deal. Now, suppose you want a piece of ridge blocking in here. Watch this. I can come over here and I uh, select this uh, up at the top. Uh, 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 I thought I could do something. Uh, what, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to do, oh, I'm trying to do uh, roof blocking. Now, I can do the roof blocking, and I can just set a piece of roof blocking across like this, okay? Oh, you just see it. You see it? I just put that roof blocking in there, and it's perpendicular to the uh, plane of the roof. You want me to put another piece of roof blocking in there? I can, right there. Put another one there. Oh, be, oh that's a wrapper. Oh, that's, that's a mess. Delete. How about one more? You get the idea. Uh, uh, roof blocking. Hang on, hang on. Roof blocking right there. Roof blocking. FW, I should know that. FW, put a piece of roof blocking in there right like this. And you're going to see that roof blocking show up. There it is right there. And now you can say, well, I really don't want them to be a two by roof blocking. I really want them to be three, uh, 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 four by it's 3.5. Now you can make the thickness. And you notice that I still have automatic framing on. I do, I do, I do. But now what, 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 here's the point. I, I want to put, uh, uh, suppose I, suppose, Suppose I want uh, uh, some some more horizontal blocking in here so I can nail my plywood to it, right? Well, so how do you do that? Well, I told you right now you can do it plan wide. You can block, put blocking in the center, fine. But but here's the problem with that at HB. The problem with that is if you do if you put a piece of block now, wait, sorry, sorry. I must like this wall. This is the only. I think this is the only way to, to only way to uh, uh, modify this. Uh, ooh. Oh, yeah, right here, right here, bottom left-hand corner. That is what that wall looks like, okay? That's how it's framed. So now if I want to put a piece of blocking in there, I can put wall bridging, wall bridging, wall blocking, whatever you want to call it, but watch what happens. Now, it's, now the automatic framing has to go off. I can't just add it to it. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'd, li I'd like to be able to just add that. I want to be able to add stuff to my wall, but I still want wall framing in there. I, I think that's what I want. I think. I don't want to turn off wall framing because if I have a big project, you know, things change constantly. I just tell you. They, they, anyway, that's the end of uh, part two. I'm going to do part three in a second. This is, anyway, end of part two.